welcome to Orion Tech Tips here with another video about the Google Pixel 3. Now, a lot of people, including myself, are very excited about this phone. It is coming out really, really soon, and I cannot wait. So, the Google Pixel 3 is, of course, the next phone to the Google Pixel 2, which was an amazing phone, possibly even last year's best phone. A lot of people said it was. Of course, you can't really... In terms of Geekbench scores, it is the iPhone 10, but you can't, yeah. In terms of speed, it might have a bit been the Google Pixel 2, uh, but yeah, so I will be uh, saying the I will be talking about specs and if you should consider buying one or not. I can't really say buy one or not because of course that's your personal opinion But let's get started with the video. So in terms of Screen which is a good way to start it has a 1080 by 2160 P display um, Of course that is OLED um, And OLED screens do look really really nice uh, saturated black saturated like color that just it looks really cool um one complaint that I do sort of have and a lot of people do have unfortunately is some OLED screens just cannot get bright enough unfortunately that problem was on the LG V30 and a few other phones. So I hope the Google Pixel 3 can make their screen bright enough. Um, maybe like over, I don't know, 300 knots. I don't know what people want, but it's just a suggestion. Um, yeah, and in terms of processor, of course, you have one guess, you have five seconds to guess it. Okay, it's obviously the Snapdragon 845 at 2.5 gigahertz octa-core processor, which is just amazing for an Android chip. It's made by Qualcomm, of course, and then front camera, um, it, so this is, um, yeah, it has a 8 megapixel, uh, 2 8 megapixel, my bad, um, front camera, and then in the back it has a 2.2 megapixel rear camera, which is, of course, I have no doubt, like, uh, it's, I know it might sound low to, like, the Huawei P20 Pro's 40 megapixel camera, and of course that has three, but I have no doubt that Google's, they can optimize their software, so I have no doubt that the pictures are going to be amazing. I, I'm just positive, no doubt at all. In terms of storage, 64 gigabytes, um, and I do not believe that you can expand the store. Well, you know, actually, I do not know that, unfortunately, if you can expand the storage or not. That has not been announced. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. In terms of battery size, it is 2915 um, MAH milliamp hour. Um, operating system is an uh, Android Pie 9.0, which is the newest Android software. Um, Android 9.0 Pie. And yeah, those are really the key specs that. Um, also, it does support wireless charging and a uh, fast charger, which the Google Pixel actually, a uh, true story here, I actually thought about buying a Google Pixel 2 XL, but then when I learned it cannot wireless charge, that was the final deal breaker for me. I did not pick up that phone. So, Gorilla Glass, uh, 343 pixels per inch, really that's just standard 2018 flagship phones, 5.5 inch 
Ola, yeah, I said that, um, and, um, yeah, uh, wireless charging, which is good. Also, another controversial subject is it only has 4 gigabytes of RAM, which people are complaining about. The OnePlus 6 has 8 gigabytes of RAM. The Razer Phone 2 has 8 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, the Samsung Note 9 has 8 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, this is a game. Oh, this, 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 this. Okay, look, so they can optimize their software to run with 4 gigabytes of RAM, just like Apple can. You can use an iPhone 7 or an 8 to this day, which only has 2 gigabytes of RAM. And if you have something with like 3, 4 gigabytes of RAM on the Apple side, it will run just fine. So I'm sure this will be a very speedy phone even with 4 gigabytes of RAM because of software optimization. If, say, like, Samsung or Samsung, LG, uh, Huawei, something that, like, they skin their phone heavily, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just stating facts. You need more gigabytes of RAM to, like, power through that, I'm just saying. Um, uh, yeah, so, fingerprint scanner, face ID, yeah, um, that's basically all that you should expect from it. New information coming out when I do know. Um, IP68, but that should you, you should already. I'm just I'm just basically just naming all the 2018 flagship specs. Uh, oh, and also if you're wondering about weight, uh, 148 grams to be precise, and that covers really all of the information about this phone. So, if you enjoyed it, like, smash that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and I, I'm sorry about just like naming like the obvious things about the phone, what like Google has said about their phone, I am just repeating in this video, but once the more detailed specs come out, that is when I will be saying all of those specs in another video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Orion Tech Tips here. Peace out.